Hello out there on YouTube, it's your boy Josh Ox and I'm back again with another YouTube video. So today I'm going to review the movie Avengers Age of Ultron. So I recently saw this last night, pretty much last night, I went to a midnight movie premiere. I also want to post a video log for that one too, I did a short video log trying something new. But brief synopsis of it, I'm not going to go in detail, this is a non-spoiler review. Maybe I'll do it later with, with, with spoilers. So the film pretty much starts off as like the Avengers come back together. Um, I'm not gonna get too much detail, no more detail. Uh, let's say Tony Stark's created a artificial intelligence, which he wanted to use to save the world. So the Avengers really don't have to work. They can relax and make sure the world was safe, but that pretty much backfired on him. And he created Ultron. So Ultron pretty much established that humans are the biggest threats, blah, blah, blah. Fast forward, okay, so. I want to discuss the pros and the cons and give my overall rating what I recommend. So the pros of this film, it had great action scenes, pretty much it was mainly action packed throughout the whole movie. Um, and I like the, the special effects, like the CGI was pretty much amazing in this film. Now also, also I like how they sort of went in this film, they went more in depth within the different characters, say for example, like Black Widow, they briefly went to our past, not trying to get too much. Um, and they also gave, it's another one. I didn't, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say the person name. When you, if you see the film, you'll know, if you watch this, uh, pretty much one of them had a family. I'm trying not to give it away. So if you see it, um, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, had some cons to it, um, but to me overall, the film was fun. I had fun watching this. It's one of my most anticipated films I wanted to see the year. That and Star Wars. Star Wars is next. And um, also, um, the cons. Only con I had was pretty much, it was like somewhat too. To me, it seemed like a recycled a little, like from the first Avengers. Uh, like, for example, like remember they had the alien soldiers or the army pretty much coming to Earth, destroying New York. But this one, they pretty much had a robot army from Ultron. It has similarities. It's, it's not the same. They sort of like took different elements, somewhat the same, just changed it a little. Uh, the development, the character development, to me, they should have did. To me, the film should have been longer for more character development, especially for like Ultron. Because Ultron, briefly, I, I, it's not really a spoiler. Pretty much Tony Stark created him, then the next, pretty much the next minute, he wanted to destroy all humans. Which I think they should have spent like maybe ten minutes to explain how he came across that. They just he just woke up, he was created, and he found humans was the biggest threat. Which to me the film has some plot holes in it, and it felt a little rushed at sometimes. So like they just rushed. Um, I like how they had Quicksilver, Quicksilver, the two characters. Quicksilver they did pretty good. They pretty they did pretty good. It was it was pretty. They briefly talked about him, like briefly, briefly talked about him. Maybe for like a minute, then he moved on to it. And pretty much, they they should have went more into their past too. They briefly talked about like an incident, and that was it. So I only only thing I would like, only thing I would probably suggest maybe get more time for the character de development, but. But allegedly, it was supposed to be 3.5, but they cut it down to like two and a half hours. So on the Blu-ray DVD collection edition, they're going to have the uncut scenes in there. So that's a plus for the DVD market. So DVD, Blu-ray. So um, if I had to rate this film from a 1 to a 10, I would have to get this film at 8.5 B+. Plus. It, it was so close, so close, than, better than the first one. I would say it's just as good as the first one. Just as good as fun. I think the story went in more depth than the first one. So I think it had a better storyline, a little bit better storyline, just a tad bit, than the first one. Uh, also, I like also like the part where they pretty much made Ultron like sarcastic, funny, witty. So I thought he was gonna be more dark and serious, but he had a, a well balance between the two. So thanks for watching. Um, I recommend you go see this film in the movie theaters. I had the IMAX 3D experience. I loved it, enjoyed it. Um, so follow me on Twitter at Josh the Movie Guy, and also check out my weekly podcast. We took a brief break, so we coming back. Uh, Two Mad Jeans. I'm gonna leave a link down below. Uh, also email me at joshox6 at gmail.com. And any oh you follow me on Twitter. I do follow back, so I'm not snobby like that. Uh, you tweet me, I do tweet back. I favor some tweets, we treat. That's what I do. So. 
Have a good one. Thanks for watching.